good morning friends in the last few lectures we studied uh, design up of the buell gears so that's why today i am taking uh, problems related with the uh, design up of the uh, buell gears Design of the Buell gears. One minute. So today we'll see uh, problems of the design. I mean, uh, fewer design of the I mean, I miss mean, Buell gears. Estimations of the module. that is based on the levis equations because in the previous uh, problems module is given uh, and after that the beam strain that is to be wear strain etc or factor of safety that is to be calculated so in this problems so second type of the problems estimations of the module and that is the based on the levis equations by considering uh, dynamic load accounts so that's why please note down uh problems about the buell gear a pair of buell gears mounted on shafts mounted on shafts that are intersecting that are inter secting at right angles consist of a Twenty four teeth pinion meshing with pinion meshing with thirty teeth gear. The pinion shaft. it's connected it's connected to an electric motor to an electric motor developing to a point 5 Twelve point five kilowatt uh, rated power at one thousand four hundred forty RPM. The starting torque power of the motor is the. starting torque of the motor is one fifty percent of the uh, rated torque. the pressure angle is the pressure angle is 20 degree both gears both 
gears are case hardened steel sigma ut equal to 750 the teeth on gears are generated and finished by grinding and lapping process to meet the requirement of to meets the requirements of class 3 grade class 3 grade the factor of safety the factor of safety is preliminary stages preliminary stages of design is preliminary stages of design is so during the calculation step of the model first bit means yes first in the initial stage in the initial stages of gear design assume that the velocity factors accounts for the dynamic load and that the pitch line velocity is estimate the model based on beam strength so this is first bit select from the first preference preference value of module and calculate the main dimensions of the gear chunks of the gear third bit determine the dynamic load determine the dynamic load using
बकिंग आर्म्स इक्वेशन फाइंड आउट फाइंड आउट द इफेक्टिव लोड for above dimensions what is the correct factor of safety what is the correct factor of safety based on बेंडिंग लास्ट स्पेसिफाई द हार्डनेस सो दिस इज सर्फेस हार्डनेस सर्फेस हार्डनेस फॉर द गियर्स assuming a factor of safety assuming a factor of safety 2 of 2 for wear considerations so first we will extract so what will be with the given data at right angles 24 teeth 32 so this is 24 32 teeth connected directly to motors 12.5 and this is 1440 12.5 1440 the starting torque 150% the cs equal to 1.5 the pressure angle is 20 degree sigma ut 750 newton per mm squares generated so that's why cv equal to we have to use this relations finished by the requirement of the class 3 class 3 factor of safety factor of safety to the initial stage so your first bit m equal to what assume v equal to 7.5 select the first reference second bit Select the first reference. Determine third bead. Dynamic load. Effective load. Factor of safety based on bending. Last bead. Specify. hardness factor of safety to so this is the uh, given so that's why because we requires more space than the which is available on the boards so that's why i am erasing this one by one we will calculate so we have to use this space also and after that remaining boards i divide into three parts yes 24 and 32 so that's why tan gamma equal to 30 sorry tp divided by 
टी जी टेन गैमा इक्वल टू टी पी डिवाइडेड बाई टी जी टी पी इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फोर एंड दिस इज फर्स्ट विल कैलकुलेट गैमा सो वाटर मे बी दिकॉज वी हैव टू फोकस ऑन एस्टिमेशन सब ऑफ द मॉडल सो दिस इज ट्वेंटी फोर डिवाइडेड बाई थर्टी टू जीरो पॉइंट सेवन फाइव इनवर्स ऑफ टेन दिस इज इक्वल टू थर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट एट सिक्स नाउ जड डैश इक्वल टू बिकॉज दिस इज फिफ्टी डिग्री सो जीरो पॉइंट वन फाइव फोर पॉइंट नाइन वन टू एंड दिस इज वाई डैश एंड ये जड डैश सो जड डैश इक्वल टू जड डिवाइडेड बाय कॉस गैमा सो जड डैश जड इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फोर टीथ जड पी नंबर ऑफ टीथ फॉर फिनियस एंड कॉस थर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट एट सिक्स जड डैश इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट एट वन डिवाइडेड बाय आंसर्स मल्टीपल बाय ट्वेंटी फोर दिस इज थर्टी सो दैट्स वाई वाय डैश इक्वल टू वन डिवाइडेड बाय आंसर्स मल्टीपल बाय पॉइंट नाइन वन टू माइनस जीरो पॉइंट वन फाइव फोर sorry zero point one five four minus point nine one two divided by plus thirty six point eight six so I check my answers. I think I am getting wrong. Twenty-four divided by cos thirty-six point eight six. Sorry, point nine one two divided by thirty. Minus one five four five four. So this is zero point one two three six. Right. Next. Now v equal to. This is given preliminary stage. V equal to 7.5 meter per second. So that's why C V equal to 5.6, 5.6 plus under root 7.5. C V equal to 7.5 under root, or under root 7.5. This is 2.8. Plus 5.6. One divided by answers multiplied by 5.6. This is equal to 671.57. So effective load initial equal to Cs Pt divided by Cv. So Cs not Cv. Pt is unknown. So Pt equal to M T equal to P T multiplied by D P divided by two. So P T equal to two M T.
dp and dp also unknown pt also unknown and design is based on on the pinion This is dp equal to what is relations m into zp. So that's why this is 24 m. So pt equal to mt equal to. First we have to calculate mt 60 into 10 to the power 6 multiplied by 12.5 divided by 2 pi rpms 1440 mt equal to eight to two 893 Newton EMM. So TP or PT equal to PT equal to 2 into 2. this is 24 M. So this PT you will get in the form of the modules divided by 24 so this is 6907.76 em now you requires because beam strength this is equal to sigma b into b into m into y 1 minus b divided by a0. So, so this is b divided by a0 equal to 1 by 3. And this is when the data because this is relations. So, that is why b equal to sigma b. Sigma b equal to I think 750. 750 divided by 3 750 divided by 3 b equal to 10 m this is m y equal to pi this is 1 2 3 6 and in bracket 1 minus 1 by third so this is you will get in terms of the m square uh, 750 means this is 250 multiplied by 10 multiplied by pi multiplied by 0 0.1236 multiplied by 0 0.6666 and this is m square now beam strength this should be greater than effective load so that's why beam strength equal to effective load multiplied by factor of safety now beam strength equal to 647.16 m square equal to effective load 69 0 7.76 divided by m and factor of safety this is given 2 so that is why m cube equal to under root
Em equal to this is cube under root. So yes, this is only PT. It's not effective load. Uh, a bit small mistake yes, because effective load equal to C is into PT. Divided by CV. CS is 1.5 PT 6907 or 08 we will consider CV equal to 0 0.67157 effective load initial. 690 690 8 multiplied by 1.5 divided by 0 0.67 157 so this is 15,429 and this is M M divided by M now beam strength so beam strength equal to effective load multiplied by factor of safety beam strength equal to Six four seven point one six effective load one five four two nine and this is yum square. So that's why yum cube. multiplied by 2 647.16 this is 47.68 cube under root under root cube this is equal to m equal to 3.62 so this is your first answers first answers for second answers now now this is the models on second miss first choice so m equal to 5 mm's m equal to 5 mm's 
by considerations of dynamic load because dynamic load so for safe side we consider this is m equal to 5 and b equal to 10 m so this is 50 mm now dp equal to 5 into 24 right so this is 24 means 120 mm dz equal to 5 into 32 160 mm and cone distance equal to dp divided by 2 square plus dz divided by 2 squares so this dp divided by means 60 squares plus 80 squares a0 equal to what 60 square plus 80 square 100 so this is 100 now b equal to 10 m or b by divided by a0 equal to or b equal to a0 by 3 so which is smaller so b equal to 100 divided by 3 so means this is 33.33 and b equal to 50 mm means b equal to 50 mm so this is your second bit over now third bit dynamic BCE plus twenty one V plus PT So first we'll calculate PT equal to PT equal to six nine zero seven point seven six divided by 5 static load equal to 69079078 divided by 5 this is equal to 1381.4 newton all right so what is next steps now V equal to pi dp np divided by 60,000 V equal to. So this is the correct pitch line velocity. So pi into 120 RPM 1440 divided by 60,000 V equal to. This is equal to 9.047. So that's why CV equal to 5.6. Because preliminary stage, we consider that CV equal to as per the given 7.5. So that's why multiplied by 5.6. So this is 0 0.656, 0 0.056, CV equal to, now everything is known, C equal to 11,400 Newton per meter squares and errors for class 3 grade and module 5 mm e equal to 0 0.0125 mm so that's why 
डायनामिक लोड इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी वन वी इक्वल टू जीरो फोर सेवन इन ब्रैकेट बी इक्वल टू फिफ्टी एलेवन थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड मल्टीप्लाइड बाय सॉरी जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन टू फाइव प्लस पी टी वन थ्री एट वन पॉइंट फोर ब्रैकेट क्लोज सो दिस इज अगेन ट्वेंटी वन प्लस अंडर रूट दिस इज मल्टीप्लाइड बाय वन टू फाइव प्लस एट वन फोर डायनामिक लोड नाउ वी विल कैलकुलेट सेपरेटली ट्वेंटी वन मल्टीप्लाइड बाय सॉरी ट्वेंटी वन मल्टीप्लाइड बाय नाइन पॉइंट जीरो फोर सेवन दिस इज इक्वल टू वन एटी नाइन And this multiplied by bracket eleven thousand four hundred multiplied by zero point one two five multiplied by fifty plus one three eight one point four mul eight five zero six. so this is under root 92.23 dynamic load equal to plus 189.987 this is 282.217 multiplied by answers 189. Eight five zero six dynamic load equal to five seven two six newton. So I think no need about this data. So that's why I will erase this because still we have to calculate. dynamic load effective load and factor of safety third bit so that's why dynamic load that we calculated effective load equal to so this is final cs pt plus dynamic load cs equal to 1.5 pt equal to pt static load i think pt 1381 this is pt static load 1381.4 plus dynamic load 5726 this is find a equal to Plus 1.5 multiplied by 1381.4. This is equal to 7798 newton dynamic load. So this is final load. Now beam strength. This is beam strength. Beam strength equal to six four seven point one six multiplied by m squares. Otherwise, we will calculate this is directly sigma b into b into m into y y equal to unknowns. Multiplied by one divided by b divided by e zero. 
टू फिफ्टी दिस इज फिफ्टी दिस इज फाइव वाई इक्वल टू वन टू थ्री सिक्स एंड दिस वन बाय बी डिवाइडेड बाय ए जीरो सो दिस रेशियो इज द वन थर्ड so here which is smaller 50 ms so i think b equal to because this is smaller so that's why b equal to 33.33 mm so i think this is correct i will check my answers All right so that's why This is thirty-three point three three. Now beam strength equal to one third means this is zero point six six seven multiplied by zero point one two three six multiplied by pi multiplied by five multiplied by thirty-three point three three. Multiplied by two fifty, and this is one zero seven eight five newton. Now beam strength. This should be greater than effective load, and this is final. So that's why beam strength equal to effective load multiplied by factor of safety. so factor of safety this is your third answers this is based on bending beam strength 10785 and effective loads effective load equal to this is 7798 so factor of safety 10785 divided by 77 9 so this is third bit over last bit hardness now hardness equal to we can calculate wear strength now this is effective load this is known dp dash bqk So that's why DP BQK divided by cos gamma K equal to. So this is K equal to zero point one six. So first we'll calculate. Uh, otherwise, in terms of of the K, so after that we can calculate the hardness. Q equal to two TZ. और झड़पी टैन गैमा क्यू टी जी थर्टी टू गैमा थर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट एट सिक्स क्यू इक्वल टू One point three three. Right. So no need about this data because now we are in the last stage. Now wear strength equal to D P B Q K divided by cos gamma. DP equal to, I think 120, 24 multiplied by 5, 120 B equal to 33.33 Q 
equal to 1.33 multiplied by k and this is cos so this is you will get in terms of k 33.33 multiplied by 120 divided by cos this is in terms of k now wear strength this should be greater than effective load so wear strength equal to effective loads and this factor of safety is given 2 so this factor of safety equal to 2 effective load equal to effective load now this is effective load 7798 7798 we are strength k equal to 778 multiplied by 2 divided by k equal to Two point three three nine. So against K equal to zero point one six multiplied by BHN divided by hundred square. This is two point three three nine divided by zero point one six equal to BHN divided by hundred squares divided by 0 0.16 14.62 bhn divided by 100 squares now under under root so this is under root 3.82 So that's why BHN equal to 38 to this is your required answers fourth bit. So I think you understand how to design the design above the BL gates because limitations of the times and by observing your response how much the student are attending the classes. I complete, I declare this complete, this is because I um, taken sufficient problems related with the design of the Buell gas. So in the, the next class, we can start uh, worm gas. So in the worm gas, uh, uh, theoretical articles are important as compared to the numericals. So we will um, see theory related with the worm mind, worm wheels in the next class. Thank you, thank you. So I stop here and we will continue um, worm and worm wheels in the next class.